Good day. I'd like to show you how to find values that make these expressions undefined. Now for an expression to be undefined, it means the denominator has to be equal to zero. So what we do is very simply, we just take these denominators and set them to zero and then find the values that make that true. So in this case, we have z minus five equals zero. Uh, adding five to both sides, we get z equals five. So if I were to plug in this number five back in the original expression here, that this would be zero, right? If I plug in five for z, I get five minus five, putting this denominator equal to zero and therefore undefined. Now I've had people ask me, why can't you have the denominator equal to zero or why does that make it undefined? So I guess the best explanation for that is, um, let's say you have, you know, any number, let's just say three times zero, right? Three times zero equals zero. Everybody knows that three times zero equals zero. And let's say you have, uh, you know, 10 divided by five. What's 10 divided by five? That equals two. Well, here's kind of what we're saying that if I have 10 divided by zero, what does that equal? So you would have to have some number here, right? Well, that's saying that some number, well, over here, you know, you have 2 times 5, that equals 10. 2 times 5 equals 10, right? So you're saying some number times 0 equals 10. Some number times 0 equals 10. Well, there's no number multiplied by 0 equals 10 because any number times 0 equals 0. So you can't have a 0 in the denominator. That's going to be undefined, okay? There's no number here that's going to make this true. Okay, so what we do is we just set these denominators equal to zero, and that's where this expression is undefined. So it's very simple. We just go through these expressions and set the denominators equal to zero, and then find out where that's true. So for this next one, we have 3x minus 6 equals zero. Okay, adding 6 to both sides, we get 3x equals 6. Dividing by 3, we get x equals 2. So if I were to plug in this number 2 into this expression, uh, you had to have 3 times 2 is 6, minus 6 is 0. So x equals 2 is where this expression is undefined. Okay, very simple. We just take the denominator and set it equal to 0. Okay, so for the next one, we have 6y plus 2 equals 0. Subtracting 2 from both sides, we have 6y equals negative 2. Dividing by 6, we have y equals negative 2 over 6, or y equals negative 1 third. So if I plug in this number negative 1 third, if I plug it in here to the denominator, it's going to be equal to 0, therefore undefined. Okay, next problem we have 8t divided by t squared minus 25. So we're going to say t squared minus 25 equals 0. And t squared equals 25 by adding 25 to both sides. Now taking the square root, we have t equals plus or minus 5. Okay, remember if we introduce a square root to both sides, if we introduce a square root to both sides, we have to include both positive and negative. Okay, we introduced the square root here. Okay. That's the, the step that we introduced the square root from this step to this step. So we have to include both positive and negative numbers. So what that means is, you know, you have negative 5 squared, plug it in, negative 5 for t minus 25. That gives you 25 minus 25. That equals 0. Same with positive 5. 5 squared minus 25. That also equals 0. So keep in mind, if you introduce a square root, that you have to include both positive and negative no values. Okay, next one we have x squared minus 7x plus 10 equals 0. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to do the, uh, we're going to factor this, factor this uh, trinomial here. And we have uh, x minus 5 and x minus 2 equals 0. So we know that x equals 5 or x equals 2 will make that come true. If we plug in a 5, then we have 5 minus 5 equals 0. 0 times whatever's left, 0 times anything 
is zero. Same with the number two. If we plug in the number two, we have two minus two. That makes this expression here, this turns to zero. And zero times anything is zero. So here is your two values that make this expression equal uh, uh, undefined. Okay, the last one here, we got 2x plus 2 equals 0. 2x equals negative 2. x equals negative 2 over 2. That means x equals negative 1. So if I plug in the value of negative 1, then this denominator is going to go to 0, leaving it undefined. Okay, pretty simple. Just keep in mind why why you can't have a zero in the denominator goes back to your arithmetic rules. You can't have a zero in the, in the denominator. There is no value that, uh, that makes that true. All those are undefined. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these type of videos, please press like and make a comment. If you want to see more of these videos, just subscribe. Um, thank you for your time. Please leave a comment below. Thank you.